What's up guys, Chris here from Vergus Prospecting. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. If you're an old moldy haircut like this one, welcome back. Today, we are out at a former caravan site that was sort of active up until about the 1970s uh, before it was decommissioned due to flooding. Without further ado, let's get swinging. I'm using the MindLab Equinox 600. I use it in Park 2 so I get 50 individual ID tones and I've got it in all metal mode. Almost straight away, we got a nice signal. It's probably going to be a pull tab. Man, that was a seriously deep hole for a pull tab. It's a little bit sketchy, but it's running up at 21, so it could be a sixpence. Without further ado, well, there's my plug, and she was down probably about four inches or so, and we've just spotted it here. Oh, hey, we got a penny. Nice. It's a little bit corroded. Again, this soil is very, very acidic. Uh, it's a rue penny, so it's from the 40s, 50s, that sort of era. Oh, we'll clean it up a bit later, see if we can't get a date off it. Nice little target here, it's a, it's a pretty decent 18. Which is right in the middle of gold range, it's about 8 to 10 inches down, it's saying. Uh, it could obviously be aluminium, because aluminium is far more common than gold. But we'll dig it up and we'll see what we get. Well, just as we suspected, a bit of aluminium. <laughs> you gotta dig them. If you want to find gold rings, you're gonna dig a lot of these rings. I just pulled out a Cotty's orange drink top. So that should give some of you guys a little bit more of an idea of the time frame that we're working off. I wasn't gonna film this because it sounded so sketchy. It must have been on its side. But there is an Aussie two cent coin. All right, second coin for the day, nice. And not two feet away, we pulled out another one. Another two cent coin. So we found a more modern area, but good nick coin. And you know, just the metal weight in these is worth collecting. Finally guys, that coil picked up something absolutely awesome. I had to dig a hole to try it, it was quite deep down. You can see it's my whole hand length, so possibly five inches. It was a super sketchy signal, uh, which usually happens when targets are small and deep. I just started searching around my pinpointer and I flicked over this little clump of grass and we've got our first silver coin. Look at that. 1943 thrippence. Beautiful, that's exactly what we wanted. Silvers, man. I freaking love finding silvers. How cool is that? And not too far away, again, I'm doing this left-handed, so it's going to look dodgy as, <laughs> is another nice signal. It's deep, uh, and it's sitting in those low 20s, which is a good indication for a uh, full silver coin. Well, I don't know what in the hell that actually is. It's a squish something. It kind of looks like a... It's probably industrial. It's painted blue... If anyone has any idea what that is, I'm betting it's a bit of pipe or something like that. Once again, we've got a really nice consistent 21, which is not normally what this coin is. Like the salinity in this soil is absolutely killing the machine's accuracy for what I'm used to. But we've got another one cent coin, it rang up as a 21. Normally these are about a 23 to 24. Just about there I found the edge of an old concrete pad and I came over here, lots of rivets and nails and bits that I've been digging up and I just found down the door handle. <laughs> Having a real hard time at the base of these trees digging nice plugs because the roots are so thick. I just flicked a bottle top out of this monstrosity here. Uh, I got the same sort of signal out of this. It was, a, it was a nice high 20, low 30, sketchy. And I can just see a coin sticking its head out. So it must be a penny because you don't get 30s anywhere else. Very nice. Look at that, 19... 65? Four. No, 1960. There we go, 1960 Australian Rue Penny. Very nice. I'm right, getting a lot of these sort of saplings. I've got a nice 22 signal up against it. I had to dig right down there. And this just flicked out. Oh, it's Snoopy. Ah, it's a Snoopy badge. Oh, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Well, I have now been chain digging one and two cent coins for about the last 45 minutes. In all honesty, it's starting to get a little bit more than a joke about how many of these two cent coins I'm pulling out. <laughs> so I think it might be time to call it a day. We've been here for about 
two and a half hours and this is what we found. All of these are two and one cent coins. I uh, stopped digging them, which is a dangerous thing to do because they often ring up very similar to some silvers uh, because there were just so many of them. Then we got the awesome little Snoopy badge. We got the two pennies, one from 1960 and an undetermined date. I can't get that crud off. It's like cemented on there. The piece de resistance is that beautiful 1943 Thrippens. How nice does that look? It looks like it's come straight out of the factory. So this coupled with the finds that I found the other day, uh, including a couple of sixpences and pennies and whatnot, uh, means that this site holds a lot of potential. It is going to take me so long to dig all of these targets. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, hit that bell button, the like, share, and subscribe button as well, because that helps me grow the channel bigger and better for you guys. Until next time, say hi to your dad for me. Peace, and I'm out. I was all like, oh, I can move that big rock. I can get that out of the way, and I did. But I busted open a quartz vein, and then it busted open me.